put in there. All right, Izzy with the good hair, you ready? Okay. You want mine? Okay. Bow down to me. Say it again. <laughs> Chris, shut up. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we have a special clip for y'all. We're going to be following Jessica on her quinceanera photo shoot. So her first photo shoot was at a, a garden park and then her second photo shoot was at, at a ranch on a horse. So you guys get to see two different types of photo shoots. Throughout the whole clip I'm going to kind of be telling you how to pose for it, how to do different little things for your photo shoot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up on the video and if you can Give me a comment down below as to what kind of ideas you guys have for me to do another type of video. Um, I'll be doing a skincare routine soon on um, how to prepare for your quinceanera photo shoot slash day skincare routine. So yeah, just go ahead and keep watching and enjoy. Like, comment, and share. Like, comment, and share. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay girls, so here I'm steaming Jessica's dress. I recommend steaming it a day before your photo shoot or your event so that it has time to dry. This will get the wrinkles out and fluff out all those ruffles that you have. If the boutique you bought your dress at doesn't offer a steaming, you can always buy a steamer at Walmart or at Best Buy. For her first photo shoot, Jessica chose a local botanical garden. This tends to be a girl's top choice photo shoot location because gardens give such a beautiful natural background for your pictures. If you're unsure how to pose, usually your photographer has some poses for you. But don't be scared to look at some poses on Pinterest and tell your photographer that you want to do some of the ones you found and really liked. Throughout her photo shoot, her mom and I are constantly fixing her hair and her dress. We want to make sure that we get all the flyaways and fluff out the dress so it doesn't look flat. We want to make sure that we have as much natural light focusing on Jessica, so we use reflectors to get that sunlight on her when it tended to look a bit too dark.
So that's the end of her first photo shoot. We didn't get to film her second photo shoot because my cameraman took her pictures with the camera we were filming with. But here are some of those pictures. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more videos like these, just let me know. Leave a comment down below or even just tell me on my Instagram. But yeah, thanks for watching y'all. Bye.